Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the second episode here of Ark Survival Ascended. Thank you so much for all of the lovely support you folks showed in the first episode. I really, really appreciate it a lot. So then, today my friends, we go for our first Tames. We are not a million miles away from level 21 and upon reaching level 21 of course, we get ourselves access to Tranquilizer Arrows. And that should help us be able to down and tame a raptor nice and easy like. In order to make the tranquilizer arrows, we're going to be needing ourselves some narcotics. And that means trying to make ourselves a mortar and pestle or two. We need 15 hide and 65 stone. So let's put that bad boy on tracked. And we're going to go grab ourselves a whole bunch of resources. Hey, there we are, my friends. The level up that's going to get us up to 21. We're going to go for just a little bit more movement speed here folks and as i was saying before level 21 we get tranquilizer arrows we also get ourselves wall torches scissors and a painting canvas so while we're going ahead and gathering all this stone here i just want to remind you folks that if you are enjoying this series and you want to continue supporting the channel please do be sure of course to drop a like beneath the video i'd very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content and of course if you do want to go one further with your support consider checking at pythongb.com slash pc if you're in the market for a brand new gaming pc ah some bad news folks we don't have any leather in fact at all and as such we're gonna have to go ahead and go on a little bit of a killing spree i just hope that we don't come across those raptors that we saw in the first episode well i'm not seeing them anywhere around here so i am going to go down this valley and then we're gonna see if there's any creatures around here see if we can't get ourselves a bit of a supply of hide. Oh, look at that. It's another Lystro. Oh, it was only level 10. Oh, I am sorry there, Dodo kind. I really am. Alright, I've got myself a whole bunch of hide going on. I'm hoping I'll be able to make myself maybe three mortar and pestles. Wait, I can make four. Wow. Alright, we're still going to go for just three though. Uh, would it be possible by any chance for us to make ourselves a table? We do require a little bit more metal. In the meantime, we've got ourselves yet another level up. We're going to go for movement speed again. And at level 22, what do we have? Anything important? We've got a pulmono saddle and a parachute. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of meat going on now, folks. <laughs> okay, our food situation is well and truly sorted. All right, slowly but surely, we're gathering up some more metal with a primitive pickup. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. There we go. 12 bits of metal. Just need a few more bits of wood. And there we go. We can make our table finally. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit of an under the stairs work area type thing. I mean, I think that works pretty nicely, right? All right, now we can get the mortar and pestles placed in. So here we go. One final one right there. Yeah, that's a nice looking work table, isn't it? <laughs> so there we are. Narcotics, five narco berries and one spoiled meat. So with just a little bit of spoil time remaining on our cooked meat here, I think what might be a good idea is if we were to do the split all trick. And by doing that, we can have 27 bits of meat become spoiled meat simultaneously. So all we do is we do split stack, split all. As you can see, the spoil time has been shared amongst what was the entire stack. And and now we should wind up with 27 bits of spoiled meat. And we have. Fantastic. Right, do we by any chance have ourselves some narco berries? We do. Just a small supply. But it's a nice little start. While those narcotics are crafting up, I see no reason why we can't do the comment of the day. Rat Heart says, so hyped for this new series. Do you plan on doing all the DLC maps? Eventually, yes. The reason I'm not playing Aberration as much as I know that it was only released very, very recently. The reason I'm not playing it is because the performance on that map so far, at the time of me recording this video anyway, 
It is just awful. I have a fairly decently beefy PC. I'm running an RTX 3080 and a Ryzen 9 3950X with 64 gigs RAM. It can barely get 40 frames per second, maybe 50 on the high side. It is not a smooth experience by any stretch of the imagination. My hope, though, is by the time we actually get to Aberration, you know, having completed the island and all of the maps after the island, but before Aberration, my hope is that Aberration might just be a little bit better optimized by then. But as it stands right now, unfortunately, it just isn't really a smooth experience. And as I mentioned in the last episode, I do very much enjoy enjoy a nice smooth gaming experience so yeah i don't really like having to deal with stuttery frame rates and all that kind of garbage but to answer your question a bit more directly yes i do indeed intend on doing the dlc maps i'm probably going to do them in release order and i'm not really too fussed about sticking only to the story arcs i do kind of want to give them all a go so that includes things like the center and all that kind of stuff so yeah i'll do them in release order if that makes sense Alrighty, folks there were 13 bits of rotten meat left inside of the mortar and pestle what i'd like to do is get myself enough narco berries here so i can convert all 13 bits of those rotten meat into narcotics so that's what 13 times 5 which i believe is 65 there we are 66 obtained boom 13 more narcotics to come hmm we need a place to store these comments of the day notes and i think the best idea would be to store them in a bookshelf so here we are folks we should be able to get a bookshelf in here yep there we go i think that's a pretty good place for it right next to our living quarters all right so let's get that placed in there <laughs> very nice there's a hundred slots for a hundred comments of the day notes in here that is brilliant. Alrighty, 29 narcotics. Oh, snap. All right, let's get ourselves 29 trank arrows. I'm thinking maybe another bowler or two might be in order as well. Maybe another couple spears. I just want to top up my supplies more than anything, really. Kind of crazy to think about. The first tame we're going to go for is actually a raptor. Normally, I go for something like a moss chops or something. But no, we're going straight for a raptor. I mean, why not? Also, would you look at that view. I mean seriously. Is that not one of the most majestic views ever? I love it. I absolutely love it. There is a good reason why I set up my starter base here. It's just such a nice place to be, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I really do. All right, our next goal is to get ourselves a raptor saddle. What do we need for that? Fiber, wood, and hide. We definitely do not have enough hide in order to make that, sadly. So we're looking just a little bit better topped up now. We've got four bowlers, six spears, 29 trank arrows. Can we, by any chance, go for a slightly better set of armor? Probably. The only thing is, we're going to need a lot more hide. Hide for hide armor and hide for the raptor saddle. Which, of course, means, unfortunately, we need to go on a little bit of a hide spree. This gal is max level as well. Wow. I'm sorry, though. You're still going to have to go bye byes. Ah, get out of here, Pego. Good lord. That guy was proper trying to come at me. Wow, I've lost a whole bunch of my spears as well. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, wait, no, hang on. There's one there. This guy's got one in him. Sorry, buddy, but you're still going to have to go bye-bye. <laughs> I mean, no, I am definitely not having fun with this. This is why the dodos went extinct IRL. Oh, for goodness sake. Another one. No, no, you're not robbing me, son. God. hey -ya! How is this guy not done? This is unbelievable. Right, can I, like, get my regular arrows? Because this guy needs to go bye -byes. I'm not allowing you to steal my stuff. Boom! A hundred and... Good lord, you guys are annoying. Hey, we've got 217 bits of leather. So let's get ourselves the raptor saddle done at the very least. How about the hide armor, though? How much hide do we need in total? 15, 25, that's 40, 20, that's 60, 10, that's 70, and 12, that's, what, 82. That's a strange number, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we are, effectively doubling 
our armor value. So while we're waiting here, my friends, it looks like we've actually got ourselves a whole bunch of levels up. Let's get ourselves a whole bunch more movement speed. And actually, one more level up on our movement speed, and we will be at the 115% movement speed goal that I was on about in the last episode. But now, though, let's go ahead and put on our new set of clothes. Ooh, hello! We've got ourselves a loot beam here. We are level 25, and I'm pretty sure... Wait, who try? Oh, for goodness sake. I thought I... Hey, what the... Oh, you just stole my clothes. Oh, dude, that is not okay, man. What do you think this is, a festival? Hey, stop stealing my clothes, man. Oh, my good grief. Go on. Go on. I need my clothes back. Gimme. Is it more? Do these guys have a crazy amount of health? Like, what the... Why is this guy not dead yet? That guy had two pieces of my old cloth armor. Disgusting behavior. Just absolutely disgusting. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, which should be level 25 we need in order to actually open this blue loot crate. So, yeah. Here we are, in fact. <laughs> hey, look at us. Got 151 oil. The rare mushrooms are going to be quite nice. And we've got a lance. All right. I think a quick little pit stop to dump off our inventory. And then it's wrapped to taming time. Look at how cozy my house looks from afar at nighttime with everything all lit up inside. <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it? All right. Inventory is nicely cleared up. As a result, we don't have too much carry weight on us. And that will allow us to run away from the raptors if needs be. What we need to do first, though, is find the raptors. Oh, for goodness sake, just when you think you're done with these bleeders, stupid pegos. Oh, wow, this is going to take absolutely forever. This guy's level 140? Are you kidding me? Damn! Stole my raptor saddle. He stole my raptor saddle! Got him! Wait, where's this corpse? Ah, it's buried in the undergrowth. I can't see a bleeding thing. Right, there we are. Got him. So, wait, is this guy, like, mine now? Oh, cool. Very good. Okay. So, this guy is growing up. Nice and quick-like. There we are. Level 140 Pego. Absolutely love to see it. It's kind of a shame that he's got low health, though. Uh, maybe I can do something about that. Maybe I get a Mijo Berry or something or other and feed him. There we are. Just got this guy's food up to scratch. Oh, you can give them any kind of berry. Huh. All right. Well, you can be my berry mule. You son of a... Oh, dude. Now nah, you're done. Hiya! Oh, my aim sucks. Stupid ick thighs. God, get out of here. Absolute turd. Oh, there's a raptor right there. Hang on a minute. Are these the ones? If I could just get the one raptor to chase me, I'm... Oh, wait. Is there three of them there? That's really bad. All right. You know what I'm thinking? I think we need to make ourselves a little bit of a taming trap. According to the ARC wiki, the raptors cannot destroy wood structures. So maybe we make ourselves a tiny little wood structure and we try to lure them into the wood structure and then we try to... Wait, they're after me. They're after me. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't think they'd be able to see me. Wait, no, they're actually after someone else. All right. Wood foundation, wood walls, and then maybe a wood door. And then that should do it, I think. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, okay. This is questionable. Uh. Oh, wait, no. Are they going after other dudes? There was another raptor, I swear. Is he down here? Oh, that is so unnerving. <laughs> I'd give anything to be able to see what level these raptors are. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Ooh, 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 yeah. Distracted. D distracted. Wait, run. Run away. Run away! They got distracted by something else! I really hope that they stay a bleeding way! I don't want to die! Am I going to have time to get my little taming trap placed down? Oh boy, I'd like to hope so. Alright, so here we go. Uh, wall, 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 wall. Uh, then we need ourselves a doorway, and another doorway, and then the door itself. There we go. The good news is I can get my movement speed up to my goal now of 115%. What I need to do 
is go lure those raptors again and i don't know kind of hope that i can get one or two of them trapped inside of my taming trap they are some pretty handsome raptors i won't lie i just wish that i could okay right here we go here we go here we go here we go we've got to be super quick about this if this works then it's gonna be brilliant all right here we go into the house wait one's level 130 uh ah okay that's terrifying oh no that didn't go well there was a level 130 in the mix there oh my goodness me can i like get back up on my perch here oh i feel like such a wuss right now there's a level 130 in there though okay uh i can't get out uh, it, it's okay i didn't want to live anyway oh gee whiz ah! Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> How are you supposed to separate those folks? I mean, yeah, I probably could have tried to bowler a couple of them, but uh, no matter what, I think that would have been a sticky situation to get out of. Oh, okay. And now I'm stuck in the roof. Well, oh, okay, no, uh, we sort of unstuck ourselves somehow. I don't know how, but I'll take it. Okay, well, there's me stuff. No sign of the raptors, though. Uh, should I be concerned? All right, this time. Hey, yes! All right, I managed to immobilize one. Two. All right, here we go. Wait, what's going on? Can I get you in here? Mm, not really. I am now trapped in here. Oh, good lord. We've got level 130. Pretty sure there's a 140 roaming around as well. Interestingly, I can make ladders. I don't know how effective this is going to be. I don't know if, for example, you are able to stand on top of the ladders. Shall we find out? Boom. Oh, hang on. Hang on. So we go up here. Can we stand on top of it? Oh, nope. You can't stand on top of them. Ah, darn it. <laughs> oh, that's not scary at all now, is it? I am going to die again, aren't I? Well, I mean, if I'm going to die, I might as well try to do it away from my base. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Wait a minute. Have I just been, like, accidentally incredibly smart again? The thing is, though, I need myself some wood. If I can get a little platform on top of that ladder there... It is very possible I might be able to stand on top of there and then just shoot the arrows down to the raptors, right? Ah! Ah! They got up to me! Oh, no! No, no, no! This really is the end again! Ah! <laughs> no! So there's a level 120, 130, and 140 in that little pack there. Oh, man. All right. Fiber thatch wood is what we need for this wood ceiling slash hatch frame. So let's see if we can't get that done and dusted. Oh, yeah. We're going full on with this, my friends. 94 arrows. I've got myself backup resources to repair my bow as well. We should be able to have this in the bag. Okay. Death point seems safe. All right, my friends. Here we are. Another iteration of our raptor taming trap. They get caught in there somehow. And we pelt them from above. I also have a little bit of a sort of escape ladder here. You can jump up it and then we're up at this little area. And then we just sort of hope that everything falls into place from there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care how many iterations of the taming trap it takes. We're going to get this bleeder done. Uh, yeah. No, it's failing already. No. All right, one is inside. It is indeed the 140. Don't you dare. I am going to take you out, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Second one is inside. This one needs to just flat out die, though. Uh, boom. 66 damage. If this is what it takes... This is what it takes. I don't know what's going on. He's going around in circles. I'm so confused. I'm honestly so confused. Will you please just die? Oh, thank goodness for that. All right. Now we've only got this guy and one other. All right. The green one is the level 140. They are the MVP. We want to try and tame that guy, okay? It's the other one that needs to go bye-bye. What is with these guys' AI? They keep running around in circles. 
These guys are insane. Come on, just die. These guys are so hard to hear. It's unbelievable. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Headshot potential? Uh, 36. 110. Yes. Headshots. 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 This is where we do the damage. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're finally down to one raptor. Right. All I need to do is get myself down there, bolo it, and just pelt it. All right. Here we go. Drop down. Nope. Not having it, buddy. Not having it, buddy. Yeah! A long last, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this today. Literally. Oh. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Took such a long time. I don't really think, if I'm being honest, I don't really think the uh, taming trap was very effective. And I dare say you guys have been hashing down your comments in the comments area down below telling me that I've been a complete doofus and gone about this the wrong way. And I just do not blame you. I don't blame you for thinking that I've done this completely wrong. I probably have. But oh well. When you have a pack of three level 100 plus raptors chasing you down... Yeah, you start to go a little bit into panic mode. You don't think straight, do you? We'll have a whopping level 209 raptor upon this raptor being tamed. In the meantime, I think we can treat ourselves to a nice blue loot beam. Oh, yeah. We've actually just got the raptor. Very good. Right, what do we got here? Soap. Artifact pedestals. Oh, look at that. Tran carriage. Very handy. Mastercraft terror bird saddle and a journeyman saber tooth saddle. Sweet. Ha <laughs> ha, there you are. You didn't half make me go through some hoops to tame you today, eh, buddy? <sighs> we did it, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a raptor. And as far as I can remember, these guys can actually fit in a house. And as you can see, they can. Let me see if I can't part this guy up real quick. And then we can take a look at him properly. Oh, I am now completely stuck. <laughs> so checking out this gal's stat, 1,600 health, nearly 650 stamina, nearly 250 carry weight, and a whopping 366% melee damage. Woo! Not bad, folks. Not bad. And on that note, it is time to wrap up today's episode. I want to thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, despite all of my misadventures... <laughs> Please do be sure to drop a like. I'm sure you guys got a really good laugh at my expense today. But there we are. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, we got our goal complete. That's all I care about. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll wrap it up there. I'll see you in the next one.